Hello, welcome to Box Office Bust, alerts, spoiler ahead. So now let's start. The movie starts from the arrival of Lord Cutler Beckett, of the East India Trading Company, who has warrants to arrest Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan, as well as the former Commodore James Norrington, for aiding Captain Jack Sparrow and avoiding his hanging. The other side we see that, some people throw a coffin in ocean, in one of them, Jack is there, he gets out of the coffin, and then get back to his Black Pearl ship with a key, drawn on a piece of cloth and informs his crew on the Black Pearl that they will discover a mysterious key at this time. While Beckett makes an offer with Will to find Jack and get his compass, which can point in the direction of what a person most desire, till that Elizabeth is being locked up. When Jack goes to take rum in basement, the long-dead father of Will, bootstrap Bill Turner, appears to Jack and tells him that, Jack owes him money, to make good on this debt. Jack asks Davy Jones to raise the Flying Dutchman from the depths and appoint him captain for a period of 13 years. For and then, in a state of panic, Jack steers the Black Pearl toward the nearest island. On other side, Will looks for Jack for the compass he has and eventually discovers the Black Pearl on Isla de Pelagosto Island, and then the cannibals traps Will and take him in front of Jack, where a tribe of cannibals worship Jack as a god and intend to eat him. Then we see that Will, Gibbs, and other crew members are in hanging prison. To escape from it, they swing prison back and forth to reach the mountain and start to climbing the mountain. Then they somehow manage and reach Black Pearl ship. Jack also escapes from the cannibals. Pintel and Rajetti, former members of the Black Pearl crew who managed to avoid execution, help Jack, Will, and the remaining crew members leave the island. When Jack and his team go to see the voodoo priestess Tia Dalma, she informs them that Jones has the key. That opens the dead man's chest that contains the cut-out heart of Davy Jones. Jones is cursed to only touch land once every 10 years, so Tia also gives Jack a jar of dirt to keep Jones away from him. And then we see that in order to settle his debt with Jones, Jack sends Will, on a damaged ship, to find that key of the dead. Suddenly, Flying Dutchman's crew members appears. When Will is taken prisoner by the Flying Dutchman's crew members, Davy Jones reunites with Jack and demands that Will will work on Dutchman's ship as a servant and Jack gather 99 peoples in three days in order to call off his agreement. Will is called up to the Dutchman ship, where he meets Bootstrap Bill, his father, after tricking Jones into disclosing the location of the key. Will is able to steal it from him, while he is sleeping, and escape the ship with the promise to save Bootstrap. Here Elizabeth and a tipsy Norrington, join Jack and his crew, when they stop in Tortuga to gather 99 peoples, but Jack fails to gather. Jack and his first mate Joshua Me Gibbs, come to the realization, that Beckett wants the compass to seek the chest, and use Joan's heart to control him in order to end all maritime piracy. On other side, we see that Will seeks refuge on a trading ship, but Davy Jones realized that Will steal his key and run from the Flying Dutchman ship, so he gives signal to Kraken to destroy the trading ship, and then exactly that happens, but Will survive from Kraken attack and hide on Dutchman ship. Now, because key was missing and the dead man chest is unsafe, so Davy Jones decide to go on Isla Cruz's island. The chest is recovered by Jack, Elizabeth, and Norrington from the Black Pearl. After it sails to Isla Cruz's, where it is buried, Will arrives with the key and makes plans to cut the heart to release his father. Not Norrington wants the heart to get back into the navy, but Jack is more concerned with becoming immortal and being able to travel the seas forever. The debate over the fate of the heart quickly raises tension. And Jack, Will, and Norrington engage in a three-way sword fight. As Pintel and Rajetti attempt to steal the chest, and Elizabeth stop them. Then the arrival of Jones crew members forces Elizabeth, Pintel, and Rajetti to engage in combat as a group, resulting in the chest being lost. The heart is inside the chest when Jack opens it. And he hides it there in the jar of dirt Tia Dalma gave him. Jack thinks the heart is still in the jar but Norrington has taken both the heart and the letters of Mark. The Black Pearl is later attacked by the Flying Dutchman, but manages to flee before being attacked by the Kraken. While the ship is severely damaged and the majority of the crew are dead, Jack, Will, Elizabeth, Gibbs, Pintel, Rajetti, Cotton, and Marty are the only survivors after trying to flee and returning to help defeat the Kraken. By wounding it with an explosion, Elizabeth, who has come to the conclusion that the Kraken is only after Jack and not the shipper crew, 
disobeys Jack's order to abandon ship and instead chains him to the mast. When Jack manages to free himself, the Kraken rears up behind him. In a final act of defense, Jack dives into the Kraken's gaping mouth, and Jones watches as the sea monster drags the pearl into the depths through his telescope. When Jones opens the chest, the heart is missing, and Norrington gives it to Beckett. The Black Pearl survivors go back to Tia Dalma, who suggests they find Jack in the afterlife, but suggests a captain who is familiar with those waters. To everyone's surprise, Captain Barbasa reappears. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.